Monsignor Mintasti, at that time a young father Mintasti, was very forward in telling us. I, uh, I had our secretary write to many orders because I wanted to begin a parish school. And I got a no for many and one day I went to her and I said, to whom did you write who has not yet responded? And uh, when she showed him that she had also written to us, he said, oh, you didn't need to write to that group, they only do domestic work in this country. And she said, too late, Father, the mail has gone out. And lo and behold, there was an affirmative answer that uh, uh, we were, uh, we were uh, interested. And then he told us, your community was the only community that gave me hope. It was the only community that said, we will have sisters for you. But they also thought they would get black sisters because uh, it was said that the sisters come from Africa. So they thought they get black sisters, you know. And so I was so surprised because he was Italian when these Irish came, you know, because the very first three, I mean, the people whom he really put into school immediately were the Finnish sisters, the trained sisters. So we were always looking forward to have new sisters because in the beginning we were very, very isolated being only six sisters and we felt that very much to be just alone in a strange country. The first to come over were Mother Margaret Mary from Chingford. She had been teaching there with Fidelma and Enda. They were the first three teachers that came. And they came by boat and they came uh, with them came Sister Nicolina and Sister uh, Henriette, Henrika, Henrika. But, uh, what happened to us uh, after four days, we, we started to get onto rough ocean. And we got very sick, one after the other, very, very sick. We, we hang over these rails and just fed the fish, you know. Nobody wanted to go to eat anymore. It was such wonderful food, but nobody wanted to go to eat anymore except Margaret Mary. She never got sick. She went down into the dining room. All these waiters came by. There were hardly any people in the dining room, she always told us, you know. So she would just point and eat a little bit of this and a little bit of this. And she was treated like a queen because there, was so, there were so few people left to eat. Well, they all came to us, to St. Albert's first to begin. It was a whole invasion when they came. This was in August during our house retreat. The sisters stayed first with us for a few days because they were officially then welcomed. And I know, I think we were 10, 10 or 12 people in that small convent in St. Albert's. And I, I just remember for me, it was not such a happy day because these, we five, even so we were very short lived together, but we came together, you know, we came together. So it was the first getting to know people a little bit and already saying goodbye to them when they moved on to Santa Clara. Uh, I came here in 1961 and uh, that was um, as a result of a general chapter um, because like most of us German folks we all hoped to go to South Africa and uh, when the delegate came back and I was in Flursheim at the time she says and you will go to California and my heart just sank and I thought and I said it and I said and what shall I do there uh, you know, and then my story unfolded in California so I said Clarissa and myself we came together now Clarissa, uh, because she had more education than I, and um, she then went uh, straight away to, uh, to Dominican College at the time. But I, because I didn't have that education, I needed some preparatory work and that was done in St. Justin's. I observed Gemma teaching, now that was fun. 
because Gemma and her sense of humor, I was standing in the back of the classroom and just doubled over laughing for the way she would talk to these children, <laughs> really. And, and as I say, and then she also taught music. So she had me come into her classroom and say, oh, Ursula, this is very simple. You have these, these various groups, she had them all organized, and you listen to them reading. And hence, I think, my best English came from the children of St. Justin's. They taught me English, and that's why I always say my English comes from the American kids. <laughs> Gosh, what I remember of those years was energy, you know. We were young sisters with a parish that was just starting, young families, growing families, a priest who was wholehearted priest and who was very good to his associates. And we as Catholic school worked very closely with the CCD, uh, the catechetical program for the children of the parish that had to go to public school. And we were all teaching. We wanted to do that, mm -hmm. we had said yes to that, so we all helped. And, and the beauty is because we all were together and we all pulled together and that was, and we had actually fun, mm -hmm. we, you know, doing it. We were young, we had energy. Why did we have energy? They caught me the wild, wild horse, no, I don't know. Anyway, I think I have been tamed in the meantime.